recall from the previ previous video, I had a little issue with the top bindings. The problem was that I undercut the neck too much when I, or I rather undercut the body too much when I did the top binding. So we end up with this little gap here and coincidentally enough I also had a little bit of tear out on the neck when I was shaping the neck. So I've got this very unsightly, ugly looking gap there. And I can't really think of any creatively great ways to fill it. I could, I guess, just wedge a piece of whatever in there and hope that nobody notices. Or uh, the other idea that I had was to take a piece such as this. It's just a little wedge shape piece of the binding that I had left over. And I would attach it like so. I don't know. I think it might kind of look like I'm trying to cover up a mistake. So my other option is to just kind of, you know, wedge that piece in there and sand it flush. So I think what I'm going to try to do is we'll put that on there like that. And if the, it looks ugly, then I'll just chisel it off of there, I guess. Well, not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it'll do. Doesn't look bad. A little more sanding and some blending and you'll hardly ever notice them. Except that now I pointed them out in a video.
After sanding the entire guitar to 320 grit, I prep it for finish by wiping the whole thing down with a paper towel dampened with naphtha. This allows me to clean the surface without fear of raising the grain or leaving any unwanted residue. I wipe all surfaces of the guitar until the paper towel stays relatively clean. Well, we finally made it. Guitar is completed. It's not finished yet, but it's completed. Um, everything that needs to be done on it is done on it. The only step left to do is apply the actual finish. So the finish I'd like to put on the guitar is French polish. The only difference is that my wife prefers um, satin finishes over super high mirror glossy finishes. So. The finish I'd like to put on this guitar would be a satin finish. I'd still like to try a little bit of the French polishing techniques, so I will be using shellac uh, as kind of the base coat for the guitar, using uh, some of the pumice to do some core filling techniques. Just to try a little bit um, things I've never tried before. It's probably not a good idea to experiment on the guitar, but I guess if things go really bad, that's what sandpaper is for. Every resource that I have read, seen, or watched, um, they all seem to be different. There isn't one that's the same. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of a combination of several different techniques that I've seen, some parts of some techniques that I've liked and some parts that I've liked of others. Uh, what it really means to me is that there, there is no one right way to do it. So I'm sure that there will be people out there screaming, oh you should have done it that way, and other people that have been saying, well that was the only way you should have done it. So bear with me and um, we're going to start the finishing process. Hopefully if all goes well it'll be Nice and satiny when it's done.